The uncomfortable truth about fear. We all have fears. They whisper doubts in our ears. They hold us back from pursuing our dreams. But here's the uncomfortable truth. Avoiding our fears doesn't make them disappear. It just makes them stronger, casting long shadows over our lives. We can choose to be ruled by our fears, or we can choose to rise above them. The path to a fulfilling life requires us to face our fears head on and embrace the messy, beautiful journey of growth and self-discovery. Fear, friend or foe. Fear in itself isn't inherently wrong. It's a natural human emotion, a primal instinct wired into us for survival. It alerts us to potential danger, keeps us cautious, and helps us make safer choices. But fear can also be a cunning adversary, disguising itself as a protective barrier when it's a cage of our own making. We must learn to recognize when fear is serving us and holding us back, preventing us from experiencing the fullness of life. We often perceive fear as a weakness, something to be ashamed of. But what if we shifted our perspective? What if we viewed fear as a compass pointing us towards areas where we need to grow? Every fear we face, every risk we take, is an opportunity for learning and expansion. When we allow ourselves to feel fear, acknowledge it, and move forward anyway, we unlock a wellspring of courage and resilience we never knew we possessed. The key is to develop a healthy relationship with fear. Acknowledge its presence and listen to its message, but don't let it dictate your actions. Embrace the discomfort, lean into the uncertainty, and trust that you're stronger than you think. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear, it's feeling it and choosing to act anyway. When courage unlocks our potential, history is replete with stories of individuals who dared to defy the odds, step outside their comfort zones, and achieve extraordinary things. These pioneers, these trailblazers, didn't accomplish greatness by playing it safe. They embraced risk, challenged the status quo, and refused to let fear extinguish the fire of their dreams. Consider the story of Rosa Parks, a woman who, simply refusing to give up her seat on a bus, ignited a movement that changed the course of history. Or Malala Yousafzai, a young girl who risked her life to advocate for education and became a global symbol of courage and resilience. These individuals didn't wake up one day fearless. They cultivated courage by taking small, consistent actions in the face of fear. Each time we choose courage over comfort, we chip away at the walls of fear that confine us. We learn that we are capable of more than we thought possible. We discover hidden strengths and develop a more profound sense of self-belief. And in the process, we inspire others to do the same. The Price of Dodging Discomfort Living a life ruled by fear comes at a steep price. It keeps us small, confined to the familiar but ultimately unfulfilled. We may avoid failure, but we also miss the joy of success, the thrill of pursuing our passions, and the deep satisfaction of living a life true to ourselves. When we constantly seek comfort and certainty, we deny ourselves the opportunity to grow, evolve, and discover who we're meant to be. We become stagnant, our potential lying dormant, our dreams gathering dust on the shelf of what-ifs. This avoidance of discomfort, this constant need to play it safe, can lead to a life filled with regret and a nagging sense of what might have been. The truth is life is inherently uncertain. There are no guarantees, foolproof maps, or ways to avoid pain, disappointment, or failure altogether. But by embracing this uncertainty and acknowledging that discomfort is a natural part of growth, we free ourselves from the shackles of fear and open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. Fear's Grip on Identity The Archetypes We Live By Fear doesn't just hold us back from taking risks, it can also influence how we perceive ourselves and interact with the world. We adopt personas, masks that we believe will protect us from judgment and rejection, but these masks often prevent us from living authentically. Carl Jung, a renowned psychologist, explored the concept of archetypes, universal, archaic patterns and images that are part of the collective unconscious. These archetypes, although helpful in understanding human behavior, can become cages when we allow fear to dictate which ones we embody. We may hide behind the archetype of the strong one, never allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, or the people-pleaser, constantly seeking validation from others. 
The problem with living behind these masks is that it disconnects us from our true selves. We become afraid to show our true colors, to embrace our imperfections, to let the world see us for who we indeed are. This fear of vulnerability keeps us trapped in a cycle of seeking external validation, never fully embracing the unique individuals we're meant to be. Embracing vulnerability, stepping into authenticity. The antidote to fear's grip on our identity is vulnerability. It's about having the courage to show up as our authentic selves, even when it's uncomfortable, even when we risk judgment or rejection. Vulnerability is not weakness, it's the birthplace of courage, connection, and creativity. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we permit others to do the same. We create a space for genuine connection, where imperfections are embraced and empathy flourishes. This authenticity is what allows us to build meaningful relationships, experience true belonging, and live a life that feels aligned with our values and our true selves. It's important to remember that embracing vulnerability is a process, not a destination. It's about taking small, consistent steps outside our comfort zones, challenging the voices of fear and self-doubt, and learning to show up as our authentic selves, one brave step at a time. The transformative power of facing our fears. Choosing courage over comfort is a transformative journey. It's about pushing past our perceived limitations, challenging our self-doubt, and stepping into the unknown with open hearts and minds. And while this path may be fraught with challenges, the rewards are immeasurable. Every fear we face, every risk we take, chips away at the walls of our comfort zones, expanding our capacity for growth and resilience. We learn that we are capable of more than we ever thought possible. We develop a more profound sense of self-belief, knowing we can handle whatever life throws our way. This journey of facing our fears is not about becoming fearless. It's about learning to dance with fear, to acknowledge its presence without letting it control our lives. It's about embracing the messy, beautiful process of growth and transformation, knowing that on the other side of fear lies a life of purpose, passion, and profound fulfillment. Dare to live a life uncaged. So I invite you to ask yourself, what is fear keeping you from doing? What dreams have you tucked away? What passions have you silenced? Because you were afraid to fail, be judged, and be vulnerable. It's time to break free from the cage of fear and step into the fullness of who you are meant to be. Embrace the discomfort, challenge the status quo, and dare to live a life that is true to yourself. A life that is brave, bold, and unapologetically you. The world needs your light, your voice, and your unique gifts. Don't let fear dim your shine. Choose courage, embrace vulnerability, and watch as life unfolds in ways you never thought possible. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up, share it with others who might appreciate it, and subscribe.